White-tailed deer is a conservation success story in Illinois. Few people today are aware that deer were nearly eliminated from the state a century ago. As they have rebounded, deer have become a valuable resource for hunters, wildlife watchers, and others who appreciate the beauty and history of our state animal. The arrival of chronic wasting disease in Illinois in 2002 signaled the beginning of a new chapter, one that required an unprecedented effort to slow its spread. As wildlife managers, it is one of the most difficult challenges of our time. Left unchecked, CWD will, over time, continue to spread throughout the deer herd with devastating consequences. Efforts to manage chronic waste and disease are controversial and we are fully aware that those efforts are sometimes unpopular in parts of the state where CWD is found. CWD is always fatal. It is a neurological disease of deer, elk, and moose caused by an abnormal protein known as a prion. It is related to several similar diseases. The best known of these is mad cow disease. As its name implies, chronic wasting disease causes the animal to appear to lose body mass and motor control function. This video of an animal that tested positive for CWD was taken by one of our biologists in Northern Illinois in 2010. This animal, seen in a cell phone video, has completely lost its fear of humans. It also appears to have lost some bodily control. Even though this deer shows symptoms of CWD, it is impossible to say for sure without testing. CWD spreads by close contact, and the infected prions can persist in the environment for years. Our most valuable tool for detecting and locating CWD are hunter-harvested deer. In counties where CWD has been found, check stations are set up to receive deer and to take samples with the permission of the hunter. IDNR biologists staff these check stations and process the samples for testing. These are the lymph nodes behind the jaw. Yes, sir. It's like when you go to the doctor, if you're sick and you have inflammation, that's where they feel. We can't feel those, but we can sure take them out. And then this, since the disease is neurological, mm -hmm. we take the brain stem out, and that's the obex, and then the prion or the protein will show up in either or both, uh -huh. if it's present. In part two, we will travel to the Illinois Department of Agriculture's Animal Disease Laboratory in Galesburg. Please join us for a behind-the-scenes look at how samples provided by hunters are tested for chronic wasting disease. <laughs>